Hi, my beautiful family, and welcome to my channel. I know my hair looks like a disaster. I don't know. I just washed it yesterday and I let it air dry. And it's such a strange weather outside. So it gets all frizzy. That doesn't matter what I'm doing. So, but don't look at that. Today, I'm very excited to try the Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer. I think this is her first eyeshadow primer, if I'm not wrong. And I got the small size because I didn't want to buy the full size. First of all, I have a lot, lot of eyeshadow primers that I still need to use. If you watched my video that I did last year, I tried over 20, 30 different eyeshadow primers. And I have very oily eyelids. And many primers don't work for me. But this has such a beautiful coverage. It's very light. It's something that I really need. And I bought the smaller size. That's good that they have two sizes, uh, the bigger and the smaller one. And this is vegan, dermatology tested, vegan, long wary, water resistant, oil free, alcohol free, gluten free. It sounds amazing. I'm very, very excited to try it. And the outside packaging looks nice. I haven't even opened it. I received it yesterday. Um, today I'm actually going to doctor. I'm going to have very natural makeup. Today I'm going to doctor to remove bandage. I don't know how it's pronounced in, Eng in, in English. But I operate my foot and they are going to take out the stitches and we are going to see how it looks. So I'm very, very excited. It's been a very hot weather outside and to have cut my foot covered, not very bad feeling. This is the packaging. It looks very nice. Uh, eye primer. I'm very interested to try it. But let's go apply my face makeup. I wanted to do this on camera today because I got the glossy box limited edition, the Clarins collab box and some of the products are not really for my skin skin type and also products that are already on so I already put them in, a, in my future giveaway that's coming soon to my channel so but I'm trying out these um, just wash my face a couple of days with this remove cleansing gel for all skin types and it smells nice feels nice doesn't feel dry uh, it feels very clean my face so I've been liking that and it re removes makeup too and I'll be using this rebooster combination to oily hydrating cream and I've been using that for a couple of days I mean it's it smells very nice but also that my skin doesn't feel dry it feels very moisturized with this this face cream and that's good because some of the face creams for oily skin or combination skin is very drying it's not doesn't feel very moisturizing so this one feels very very nice and i've been liking that it does have a powerful fumy scent but it's not strong and it disappears but just be aware of that that it does have a scent then i also got this clarins bb skin that detox fluid uh, with SPF 25, it even skin tones, moisturizes and balance. And this is in number two. Uh, I think it's medium, medium number two. And I'm being new, it's like a foot, not foundation, but like a BB cream. It's a BB cream, but it has a nice coverage and I'll be using it. It's a little bit too dark for my skin tone. But when I first tried it, I also got this Boost Radiance SOS primer. And it's a very shiny primer. And I've been using this one and it feels it feels very good and it really keeps my oily t-zone not so oily during the day to these combos i'd be liking that and i do use first I, when i tried it i applied this on my face and then i went over with this one and it's a little bit too dark even if it's medium i have all of my bb creams in medium and they are not as dark as this one but i don't know if there is more shades i haven't checked that out so i'll be mixing these together uh, the next time i try them I mix these together and the coverage was the same but it was a little bit lighter so I'm going to use that on my skin too so you can see I use this amount oh I forgot oh I forgot I need to go with my thought prime on my pores before sorry just like to fill in these pores a little bit not so much today i don't want to have a lot of makeup i don't feel really good i don't know why my head hurts the weather is strange uh, it's just a strange day so let's go in with this you can see it's a little bit dark so 
and then I blend them together. See, and then I'm going my, uh, on my face. And I haven't been using the prime, the concealer these couple of days while I've been trying this product. But today I'm going to use concealer just, just to light it up a little bit. And I've been use, doing this with my hands, like exactly like this. And I've been liking how my skin looks and feels. I didn't set it either. Today I'm going to use just a little bit of um, a powder prone, a powder just to set the concealer because I want to use a little bit of the concealer today. And I'll be kind of even my skin tone a little bit. I think I want more coverage a little bit. So I'm going to take just small dots. And go on this place where I want a little bit more coverage. You can see just evened everything. I mean, it didn't cover a lot, but it just made everything more even. And for me, it looks a little bit more healthy. Uh, and we are going to use a little bit of Jeffree Star concealer just to brighten it up a little bit and have more coverage under the eyes. And I'm going to blend it with my fingers. I want more control of it. Oh, and everything looks very, very nice. I'm going to go in with the brush just to set the under eye because it will crease. I'm going to use this powder from this palette. It make everything a little bit more bright. I'm going to set slightly everything and light it up a little bit. Put some of the bronzer and a blush on my face and then we'll be go in with the, finally, with the eyeshadow primer. Okay, so let's zoom in and go in now with the primer. So now I look like I don't have any makeup. It looks like a makeup, no makeup day. Uh, I like, like it, especially when I go to doctor. Let's go in and apply the primer. It has a lot of coverage, which I like. Uh, I haven't opened. This is first time opening it, and it looks like this. Interesting. Uh, so let's see. I'm going to press some on my hand just a little bit. That's light and nice. And I'm going to tap it with my fingers. This one is how much is in this? They have two sizes. I bought the smaller one. And this one has seven milliliters. Seven milliliters, that's enough for me right now. So I'm going to just see. Oh, that's pigmented. Ooh. It feels very nice on the lid. Not heavy at all. It doesn't feel heavy at all on the uh, lid. On the lid, I can't talk today. And it covered a lot. I like that. It's very bright. I need to set it just a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to go in with this Sky Cosmetics eyeshadow palette that I really like. I use it every time I go to doctor because it feels or some important meetings, meetings because it looks like a very natural uh, palette and it makes everything look so nice on my face. So we are going to go in in Santa Teresa. Ooh, it blends so nice. And what I like, it doesn't look dry. Sometimes when I use some primers, my eyelids get eyelids get very dry and textured. I do have a lot of texture on my on my eyes, my eyelids and my under eye area. A lot of texture. And nothing wrong with that. I mean I'm almost 35 years old so it would be strange if I don't have any texture. I'm not made of plastic. 
this one is a little bit it's a little bit stained but I think it's going to change anything we are going to go into this Paris dark brown shade I love this palette it's a little bit expensive one but it's worth the money I think this is the best best eyeshadow natural eyeshadow palette that I own you know and I own many palettes. These eyeshadows are blending on top of this primer. I really like that. So I'm going to go in with my finger and take some New York. And then I'm going to take another finger and go into this London shade that is my favorite. And just put that on top because I want other another warmer undertone. So I'm going to take my Linda Halberg flat brush and go in that London shade just to kind of go in here. Go back with that fluffier brush that we use for the dark brown just a little bit more and blend. And then I want to take uh, Esco Sosu and Kayla Esco O2 and go back in that Santa Teresa that we had in our crease. Take dark brown again that we had and connect, just blend it here, not go whole way. And then I'm gonna go and take this from Sosu Esco O3 and go in the lightest Ibiza shade. And just pop that in. This is such a nice shade for the inner corner and under brows. And I'm going to take Kaya Cosmetics uh, Vans Vava Volume. Okay, so I really, I just love this palette. I'm in love with it. I mean, it's natural. It, the look can maybe boring to you guys, but this is the best palette I've used. Look at this beautiful makeup look. This uh, this primer, I really hope it will last whole day. The very, it's very warm today. It's very, it, it's been raining all night, but it's over 25 degrees outside. And it, my hair is frizzy because of that weather. And that makes my face sweat and my eyelids sweat a lot. So it's going to be a good test because I'm going away to remove the stitches um, in my foot. Uh, and I really like how the eyeshadow blended on top of this primer. I was very, very surprised and impressed. And I don't always have that feeling. I tried so many eyeshadow primers. Believe me, uh, if you haven't seen that video, I tried more than I had in that video and none of them really felt like this one when I was blending the eyeshadows over it. It just felt like silk. I have so much te texture on my eyelids and this is amazing. It has a nice coverage, it's a buildable coverage, you've seen how much I put on. Um, but I've been liking this natural makeup look, really like this makeup look. I, you can still see my flaws on my skin but it looks like I don't have makeup on. And I am very impressed with this BB Skin De Detox Fluid from uh, Clarice. Clara Clarisins? Clarisins? I pronounce everything wrong, wrong in English. But, guys, 11 o'clock. I'm going to wear this whole day. I'm hungry. I'm going to eat something, have some lunch, and see you in a couple, couple of hours. Hi, my beautiful family, and welcome back. It's a check-in now 1932 and I had this makeup on for eight and a half hours almost nine hours and let's see how sorry I'm shaking you let's see how the eyes look oh I'm shiny I'm shiny I could blow mascara did transfer a lot down here uh, but it looks nice okay so 
it did start creasing just a little bit here uh, and some of it but it still looks good I mean just a little bit crease here it's not as intense as it was this morning but I'm not mad I mean the crease looks perfect um, and I like it it feels very light on the eyes I know why mascara transformed this much um, doesn't usually do that but I didn't have a lot of powder so if you don't use powder and you have mascara that transform try powder and that will maybe do the thing I did set a little bit but not too much so I'm really really liking Anastasia's eyeshadow primer I think it's good for oily eyelids and it covers a lot so I'm definitely going to continue to play with it I'm glad that I got it and this will last me a long time the smaller smaller packaging uh, I really like it I think it's a good eyeshadow primer I'm surprised and it's DD approved so I'm very excited and my headache is uh, visiting me right now I, just, I was uh, at doctor's place today and removed stitches in my foot and released my foot from that oh, it feels very good but I have headache I don't know why the weather is kind of messing with me but guys that was everything i hope you like this video if you did don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell like this video and i see you in my okay i will stop shaking you now i'm stopped now i stopped and see you in my next video i love you all bye